Welcome! In front of me I have Garmin Phoenix 8 and I'm gonna show you how to pair this watch with the iPhone. Before we start, you can pair this watch with an iPhone in two ways. The first way is to do it through the setup process of the watch. So basically if the watch is brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings. And the second way is to do it through the settings after the watch has been already set up. Because you can set up the watch without pairing it with a phone. First I'm gonna show you how to do it through the uh, setup process and then I'm gonna show you how to do it through the settings. Okay, so let's continue and first thing we need to do is to turn on our watch. And you can turn it on by pressing and holding the uh, light button. Keep holding the button until you see the Garmin logo on the screen. Once you see the logo, you can release the button and wait until the watch boots up. Once the watch boots up and it's brand new or it's been reset to the factory default settings, you will see the list of languages on the screen. You can scroll through this list, find the language you would like to use on your watch, and once you find it, you can tap on it to select it. After you select the language, you will see this message basically asking us if you want to pair our watch with a phone. We want to do it, so you can tap on the check mark or press the start button to confirm. And after you confirm, you will see the QR code on the screen, and this means that the watch entered the pairing mode, and you can use this QR code to download the uh, Garmin Connect application. I'm just gonna use the uh, Play, Play Store on our iPhone, not Play Store, my bad, uh, App Store on our iPhone, uh, but you can basically open the camera app and scan the QR code with, with your iPhone and it will direct you to the download link. I'm just, like I said before, I'm just gonna open the App Store. And to download the app, you will need to have internet connection and Bluetooth enabled. Once you do, open the App Store or scan the QR code. In the App Store, tap on search, tap on the search bar and type in Garmin Connect. Once you find the app, tap on it, then tap on the get button to download and install it. Let's wait until it's done installing. And once the application is done installing, you can tap on open button and to open it. And once you open the application, you should see this page and the pop-up about the Bluetooth. If you see, if you see the pop-up about the Bluetooth, tap on allow. And on this page, we can basically create a new account if you don't have any. So if you don't have an account, tap on create account, make a new one and use it to log in. And if you have an account, you can tap on sign in to log in into your account. I already have one, so I'm gonna tap on sign in, check the box, tap on next, and enter the email address and password. Then we can tap on next to log in. And after you log in and you don't have any devices connected to your account, the app will automatically start searching for the nearby devices and it should detect your watch. Also, if you see the pop-up about the notification permission, you can allow it or deny it. If you don't want to use uh, phone notifications, so basically, um, receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, you can deny it. If you want to receive the notifications from your iPhone on your watch, allow the permission. Next, we have the this page, basically. After the uh, phone detects your watch, tap on connect it, tap on pair, allow or deny the permission for notifications. Here, tap next. Right here, we can uh, set up a sleeping schedule, basically, uh, the time you go to bed and the time you wake up and uh, this is useful if you want to use the do not, do not disturb mode during sleep so if you're wearing your watch during sleep it will turn on the do not disturb mode automatically and turn it off automatically 
um, so you're not disturbed during the sleep. And you can tap on edit to basically edit the uh, options and you can check or uncheck the days. You can ch change the bedtime and the wake time to your liking and then you can tap on done and then tap on next. Here we can select the preferred wrist, tap next and we can allow some permissions like calendar access. This is useful if you want to say, see the notifications about the calendar events and stuff like that on your watch. If you don't care, you can tap on skip. And if you want to allow it, tap on allow and then tap on allow full access. Next, we have the location permission. And this is useful for local weather and the uh, track route, uh, track or route tracking rather. So basically, let's say you want to go for a run and you want to see your route on the map after you're done and this will need the location permission. If you don't care, you can tap on skip to skip this or tap on allow if you want to allow it. Once you're done with the per permissions, tap next, scan now, finish. You can go through the tutorial how to use the watch. I'm just gonna tap on skip. And here we can add the Wi-Fi network. So basically you can connect your uh, watch to the Wi-Fi network. If you don't care, you can tap on set up Wi-Fi later. And if you want to connect it, tap on add network it will open, rather it will start searching for the nearby networks and once it finds the network, you will see the list. You can tap on the network you want to connect to, enter the password if it's protected. And then you can tap on next and it should connect to that network if you enter the password correctly. As you can see, connection successful. We can tap on next, finish. On the watch, we can adjust the font size. And once you're done, you can press the uh, start button. And then we can also select the favorite activities. And this is useful if you want to quickly start the um, some training activities like running, cycling and stuff like that. If you don't care, you can press the button right here to skip this. If you want to press the start button, it will open this list. And here you can uh, check or uncheck the activities you want to have in favorites. And then you can scroll down and tap on done. Okay. In the app, we can tap on dismiss and you should see your watch right here in the top right corner. And if you tap on more Garmin devices, you should see right here on the list, which means that the devices are connected. Okay, so that's how you pair the watch through the setup process. Now, I'm going to unpair it from our iPhone and we're going to do it through the uh, settings. So let's remove it. Come on. Like this. Remove settings. Bluetooth, no, let's go back, Bluetooth, and disconnect it, like this, okay. So, if you want to uh, uh, pair your watch through the settings, you will need to enter the pairing mode, of course, to uh, pair the devices. And to do it, uh, press and hold the menu button to open the menu, then scroll through the menu, find the option called watch settings and tap on it. Here, find the option called connectivity, and tap on it, then tap on phone, and finally find the option called per phone, and tap on it. And you will enter the pairing mode. Now you can download and install the app, or if you have it already, you can open it. And if, you don't, if you're not logging in for the first time into the application, you will see the home page, and here you can tap on this big plus button, or tap on more. Uh, Garmin devices and tap on add device and it's gonna start searching for nearby devices. It should detect your watch. You can tap on connect it. Tap on pair. Allow or the permission. Next, next. Uh, of course you can change the settings we're liking, but we're doing the same uh, stuff we did before basically. So that's why I'm going through through the setup process quite quickly. Sync, finish, skip the tutorial. You can connect to Wi-Fi network if you want to. I'm gonna skip it this time. Finish, not now. And at this point, you should see your watch right here. And if you open the Garmin devices page, it should also be, oh my bad, Garmin devices. It should also be here, which means that devices are connected. And that's how you pair this watch with the iPhone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please consider subscribing to our channel and leaving a like on the video.